Hello, hello, hello. Lady Aisha Fisher here with a brief but encouraging word for you on today. And it's entitled The Lifter of My Head and Heart is the title that I'm giving this one. All right. So here's some words of encouragement. Um, Our emotions can be affected by the slightest things. Something like a simple change in the weather can affect attitudes and emotions. So we need to be careful not to let our hearts get heavy. It's important in such times to remind ourselves what the Lord is also in the business, that the Lord is also in the business of lifting up our hearts in times when we feel down. We need to see it as a supernatural thing. It's not something we have to just muster up uh, on our own. We can ask the Lord to lift us up, give us a boost in our thinking and help us to see th- that to see that things aren't as bad as they might appear. One of the greatest, most powerful skills a believer can possess is the ability to maintain a position of faith and stamina when something negative is trying to close in. Keeping your emotions in check and not allowing yourself to get down and discouraged on something you must actively fight for. The Lord will also enable us to look past any corrupt problems and see a victory just as Jesus was able to do when he went to the cross. He saw the joy on the other side, which I'll touch on in Hebrews um, scripture. I'm going to read here next, but stand strong today and know that the Lord is lifting your heart and Hebrews 12. I'm going to read um, verses one through three in the amplified Bible. And it says, therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness witnesses, who by faith have testified to the truth of God's absolute faithfulness, stripping off every unnecessary weight and the sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us. Let us run with the endurance and active persistence the race that is set before us, looking away from all that will distract us and focusing on our eyes, our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. The first incentive for our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity, who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross, disregarding the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, revealing his deity, his authority and the completion of his work. Just consider and meditate on him who endured from sinners such bitter hostility against himself. Consider it all in comparison with your trials so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Amen. Now let's decree and declare some things over our lives. Uh, We decree today that our hearts are lifted up and our countenance is raised and encouraged. We declare relief, assistance, and comfort upon our household. We prophesy that our morale is boosted in the face of every challenge. We break the power of anything that would cause us to be cast down, discouraged, depressed, sad, or unhappy in Jesus' name. We declare that we believe the report of the Lord. We resist and reject the emotional effect of bad news and disappointment. We look past every problem and we see the answer and the light at the end of the tunnel. We choose to see the joy that is before us. We envision all things being bright and going well for us and our family. We place our eyes on you, Lord, who is the lifter of our hearts and our heads. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you continue to be blessed to be a blessing. Love you.